All right, so today I want to talk about incorporating vampirism into your practice, as well as some methods as to how to do it. So first off, vampirism is the practice, or at least energy vampirism, psychic vampirism, that is the practice of uh, physic or taking a target's energy and incorporating it into your own as for you as the practitioner, vampire, or whatever, to gain more energy and a little bit more powerful, at least in the given moment. So, there are a couple ways to do this and a couple benefits. So first we'll go into the benefits. Some of the benefits are enhanced athletic capability, increased usefulness. The use of vampirism will be a great practice for your psychic senses um, with being able to see, feel, sense energy as well as the transfer of it. And usefulness, slight appearance. And well, a few, few other bits here and there. And so when it comes to vampirism, it is best. So if you are going to do a rite of baneful magic on a target of someone who's wronged you, it is highly advised that you that you incorporate some form of vampirism to drain them first so they have little to no energy for defenses for uh, or just in general and it'll make the curse that more prevalent so some ways you could vampirize someone if you're just starting out then you could use vampirism via touch so if you shake their hand you just visualize their energy coming through their arm into yours and into your energy center where it is then transmuted into whatever energy you need. Another popular one is the tentacle method and this is where you will have black tentacles that can shoot from various parts of your body whether it be your shoulder, your hands, um, your back, Whatever. It, it really varies on practitioner to practitioner as well as what they prefer. And it shoots from the practitioner to the target. And same thing. The energy from the target travels through the tentacle into the vampire. And finally, there is sort of like a vortex method in which the energy of the practitioner forms sort of just a swirl of energy that draws straight into them and this is good for absorbing ambient amounts of energy and just nullifying any energy in a given room or area and then once you have the energy it can simply be transmuted by visualizing it turning from the one color into another or one type of energy into another type of energy that's it that's all for now have a good night